in, in Newham, uh, there seems to be a lot of young parents. And it's, it's weird because there's a lot of grandparents that are bringing up their kids, especially in this North Village region of the borough. There's a lot of drug problems, a lot of alcohol problems, lack of role models for a lot of the younger kids. And a lot of them kind of get involved in gang activity because they feel that there's like a lack of belonging. There's a lack of a family unit at home. There's lack of role models and stuff. What we do is we offer free boxing and martial arts to young people aged between 11 and 21. Boxing and martial arts is like the hook to get young people involved and that's all about teaching them discipline and control, getting them fit and healthy and engaging with other young people. So we bring people together from all sorts of different backgrounds and walks of life. The project is called Fight for Peace and it is literal, it's that by fighting or teaching these kids different fighting sports like Jiu Jitsu or Judo or Karate, boxing, it helps them get them off the street, get them off the drugs, get them off alcohol, whatever. It basically keeps them out of trouble and most of all gives them confidence, gives them respect, gives them uh, the sense of accomplishment. You find that the more you are capable of fighting, the less you end up fighting because you don't need to. You know who you are and that's what this kind of project does for uh, children. Uh, it's fun to really get in the trenches and see how the programs are working and, and meet the people that are involved in them and uh, that started coming to these uh, as a way to help themselves and now I met the counselors here who came here for, for their own good and now they're passing it on and uh, being counselors to the kids coming up. So it's great that, number one, you can help yourself and then you can help others. So that's what it's always been about for me, is passing on that knowledge. And that's what the kids are doing here. And it's a great project. It's really brought the neighborhood together and it's nice to finally see how it all works. For someone like her to come to a community like this, who don't really get many visits from famous people, never at all. It brings awareness out there to people about what things are happening, like a community like this, who have been deprived of many things, there's only a park around here. It's an inspiration to say, okay, I can come from being nobody to being somebody. It just takes one person to make a difference. I founded Fight for Peace in 2000. I was already in Brazil for three or four years back then and I was working for a Brazilian non-governmental organization and it was really clear to me that a lot of the kids, the ones that were most affected by violence or getting involved in violence were in the drug factions. They weren't coming into the projects. So it seemed to me that I'd boxed as an amateur, um, so I knew kind of the language of boxing and I got my coaching qualification. I thought if I open a small club, perhaps it's a way to create contact with them and, and a way to start working with them and then bolt on the more traditional youth work side of stuff. We're a real boxing club. We're a registered boxing club here and a Mai Tai club here. That's important because it's not just about the social side of it, it's also for young people to say, hey, this is a real club and if I want to go places, I can. I was talking to one of the young people before and she said before Fight for Peace was there, she used to go to the park, chicken and chip shop, or go out to other areas and cause trouble. So if you have Fight for Peace, it's like, okay, uh, let's bring our kids along to some project like this and just take kids off the street. It's helping um, people get off the streets and doing, doing something in their own time instead of the tribunals and getting sent into jail or stuff like that. When you come here, it's just one neutral ground where everybody can socialise and just get to know each other and learn things off each other and just it's like a dominoes effect and just teach other people through it. I think the way that we work with the young people here, they're there's no us and them mentality. Unfortunately, a lot of social projects and charities can kind of treat children as a commodity that's coming through the door in terms of you poor little victim, we're here to help you, here's a handout. We don't work like that. And that's a lot to do with sport, in, the, in our case, boxing and martial arts, which is you get out what you put in. So if you don't train, you're not gonna win. And that's the same for any sportsman, um, but specifically for boxing, it hurts if you lose. So if you don't train, you're gonna get beat. It's the same in life. And so kids come through the door and we're all about saying, we will support you, we will help you. But at the same time, there's rules and regulations and you have to be part of this. A lot of the young people that I've worked with that have started at the project from a couple of years ago, but there's one in particular, he had a lot of kind of confidence issues. He was, he was quite aggressive. He always was getting into fights out in the community. He knows the mistakes he's made and he's turned his life around now. He's, he's at college now. Um, he's kind of moved away from a group of peers that he used to hang with a lot. It just gives me like a, a job satisfaction to be able to see like the results. It's great to see how sport really does bring people together and how it can bring about social change and how it can bring a neighborhood together and, and help kids in a positive way, not just now, but for the rest of their lives. 